Now, I know we're not supposed to care too much about our credit score during this Ramsey journey. After all, he calls it an I love debt score. Look it up. And I should know I'm sitting on an excellent one myself. But I do care. I care about my score. I care about my credit report. And I know that accounts closing are a part of the journey. So as I pay off things and I don't close them myself and I no longer use that account or that debt, I know that for the most part, they'll naturally close on their own. And I like to see that happening. I want to make sure my identity isn't stolen. And I want to make sure things are heading in the right direction. How about you? Hello, my name is Denisha, otherwise known as Debt Free D, and I am on a journey to pay off over $55,000 of debt of all kinds, and I am down to under $10,000 to go, yes. If you are interested in joining me on this journey, please do. Please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Now, you can just about get your credit score and report from everywhere these days. Do you remember, let me know in the comments, if you remember back in the day, whenever you used to have to pay to get your credit score? Yes, well, gone are the days you have to do that anymore. I get my credit score everywhere. I get it through Credit Karma. I get it through my bank, my Mint app. Sometimes I get it on my credit card statements. Credit scores are everywhere and they're updating a lot more frequently than they used to in the past. Do you remember whenever it seemed to take months for you to get a refreshed credit score? Now, it's a matter of days. Every time I log into my Credit Karma app, it's seven days, and through my Mint app, like every five to six days, you can get an updated credit score. Times have really changed. And now I could go into what makes a credit score and honestly how to build your credit score but that is not what this video is about <laughs> this video is about checking your report and to do a little housekeeping in that area and now all these apps are great but i like to get my hands and eyes on the actual report itself and that's what we're going to talk about in this video so through annualcreditreport.com you can get access to a free credit report from all three bureaus each year. So the three bureaus are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And through annualcreditreport.com, you can get a free credit report from each of these bureaus once a year. Now I would caution you, just be careful and make sure that you are entering the website correctly. I don't want you to run into any scammers by using another website. This is the one that I know about, and this is the one that is helpful for me. Just be careful because you'll be entering your social security number and also your demographic information and you don't want that information to fall into the wrong hands. So I will go through annualcreditreport.com and get your free detailed credit report. Now, back in the day, I used to go in and I was so eager to check it that I would go on to annualcreditreport.com and check every box. I wanted every report once a year. Well, I went to a finance webinar and got some information that I hadn't even thought of before. I mean, it was just so obvious and I mean, but I hadn't thought of it and I was so excited to have run across this information. Instead of pulling from all three bureaus once a year, pull from one bureau every four months. So every four months you get a refreshed report. So here's an example of what I do on February 14th. Four months later, June 14th, four months later, October 14th, I pull a credit report from each of the bureaus. So every four months, I have a new report. I have a fresh report. And to go even further, you can put those in alphabetical order so you know which one you're pulling at what point in the year. So say February 14th was your day, you would pull Equifax. Alphabetically, it comes first. And then on June 14th, Experian. The last one of the year will be TransUnion, but you can do it however you want. That's just my tip on how to remember what is pulled when. So once you decide which one you're gonna pull, say you're gonna pull Equifax this early in the year, you'll go and check the Equifax, and then the site will take you to a form where you'll fill out some demographic information, including your social, your name, address, your previous address, and some other qualifying information. From there, it'll take you to the credit bureau site. 
but before it takes you to your credit report, it'll ask you a few questions just to make sure it's you. And a lot of these are related to what's on your credit report. So it could be a previous address, the range of a payment on a certain account within your report, those types of things. So we'll not let you into the report unless you know these answers. So you may have to think back if there are some old accounts on your report, but once you clear that, you will have access to your report. Now, what I normally like to do right off the bat is to save this report in a secure location in case you get kicked off the website. So just save it somewhere, again, where not a lot of people have access to it. If you don't want just anybody looking at your report and information, um, you could also print it, and sometimes I do this as well, so you can print a version of the report and keep it again in a secure location if you don't want just about anybody stumbling upon your credit report information. But I would do that first, again, just in case you get kicked off the website and you don't have any access back into the site, into your credit report. A few things I like to review on the report are my name, the variances of my name are correct, my previous addresses, uh, work history, if much of that is listed, I like to go through and make sure that nothing is out of place, that it doesn't have anyone else's name on there. If so, you can initiate a dispute normally through the website itself and ask that that information be removed. And that's really important. If that's not your account, if you're not associated, if that's not your name, it's really important to get those things clear off your credit report just so they don't affect you and they don't affect you in the future as well. I like to go through my collection accounts if there's any on there and just make sure that that information is correct. Is there something in collections that shouldn't be? Is there something misreported here? And though currently I don't have anything in collections on my account, I have tried really hard in recent years to pay everything on time or make a payment arrangement or whatever to stop things from going into collections. Collections can normally stay on your account seven years plus. So I like to see what date they'll fall off and that gives me an idea of when my credit score may change because that collection account has been removed. So you'll wanna just take a look at that. I also like to take a look at all of my active accounts. I wanna make sure that every active account is something I'm super familiar with. I don't want any surprises here. So I go through each account. I look at when it's opened. I look at all the payments and they should have green okays or pay on time. I just like to make sure that nothing looks out of place that the balances look correct, that the payment amount looks correct, everything is being reported properly, and so on. I also like to look at my inquiries and make sure that there hasn't been any inquiries against my credit report. And that means that I didn't make an inquiry to open a new account or to check my credit report and that nobody else has as well. Hard inquiries normally stay on your credit report for two years. If you do have a hard inquiry, it's a good idea to just know when that hard inquiry will fall off as it may affect your credit score as well. You'll just wanna make sure that all of that looks good to you. You'll just wanna make sure there are no surprises on your credit report. But if there is a surprise or two that you initiate a dispute to get that taken care of, not only for that one bureau, but then when you check the others, TransUnion and Experian as well, that you initiate a dispute to make sure there's nothing on your credit report that is not yours. If it's not your responsibility, get it off of there. And that's essentially what I like to do. I do this again every four months. For me at this point in my life, it's not to raise my credit score or anything. I just like to make sure that things are are in the right place. As I pay off debt and things start to fall away, there are certain expectations I have around that and I wanna make sure that my credit report reflects that. So let me know how you check your credit report. If you check your credit report, do you do it the old school way of actually going in and pulling a credit report like I mentioned or do you go through Credit Karma or another way, feel free to let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And if you're already one of my lovely subscribers, thank you so much. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.